Day 484 of the war in Ukraine. Today, the fighting was mainly concentrated in the area south of Kreminka, Marinka, and south of Vremivka, as well as in the Zaporizhia front. The latest and most important news are coming from the Zaporizhia front. Earlier today, the Ukrainian sources reported that the Ukrainian army has increased the number of troops that are engaged in the areas south of Malatokmaka. According to these sources, the Ukrainian troops have begun to break the Russian defenses near Novopokrovka and might have captured a good part of the village itself. On the areas north of Robotine, Russian sources said that today in the morning, Ukrainian troops made new attempts in the direction of Robotine, while later today they reported that the Ukrainian command sent additional reinforcements to this part of the front and that the Ukrainian army has now managed to break through the Russian defenses in Robotine. The scale of the Ukrainian advancement is not yet clear, but according to the latest reports, the Ukrainian troops must have reached at the very least the northern outskirts of Robotine, as reportedly heavy fighting is taking place here during the last few hours. In the following hours, we will find out if the fighting is already happening inside of the village or not. The latest reports coming from this part of the front indicate that on the left flank of the front, the Ukrainian army is attacking the Russian positions with at least one infantry battalion and over 20 military vehicles. This once again confirms the report that we made during the past two days on the strengthening of the flanks of the Ukrainian offensive and the possibility of a breakthrough on Robotine. During the night, the Ukrainian army launched a powerful attack targeting the Russian infrastructure north of the Crimean Peninsula. As confirmed by Russian sources, the Ukrainian army has hit some of the bridges that connect the Crimean Peninsula with the rest of the front. These bridges are extremely important for the supply lines of the Russian troops and the damage caused to them is a serious problem for the Russian army. According to different sources, the target of the Ukrainian Storm Shadow cruise missiles were the bridges of Tsukurei, Chaplinka, Henichesk and Tronhar. Yesterday, we reported on the clashes that are taking place in the forest area north of Serebyanka and mentioned a slight advantage of the Russian forces towards the Ukrainian positions inside of the forest. Today, other pro-Ukrainian sources such as the Deep State Map confirmed this news. The battles continued here today as well as north of Bilohorivka, where it is the Ukrainian troops who have a slight advantage and have pushed forward for several hundred meters during the last 48 hours. That's all for today's video. Please don't forget to help the channel grow by liking the video and subscribing. And also for those who want to support the channel and get access to more content, you can visit my Patreon page. Thank you.